Hello, my sewing friends. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where it is Friday Sews. So click on the hashtag, go see all the people. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And let's talk about sewing because Friday Sews is about sewing in life. So sewing comes first always, and I have not been sewing very much this week. Um, I kind of am getting back into the swing of things. And that's because I spent all of last week with my wonderful, dearest friend, Trish, who <laughs> kind of rescued me from all the stress and drama that's been going on in my life pretty much since 2024 started. I hope it does not continue. But I am making an Easter dress, so I got back to that this week, um, kind of, a little bit. I haven't really done very much, but I'm making progress. It's McCall 69559. It's right here. Uh, this is a wrap dress that I'm doing in a linen that I found at the sewing studio in Maitland, Florida, the Orlando area. And I'm lining it because it's yellow. It's pale yellow. Perfect for Easter. And yet it's kind of sheer. And so I'm lining it with this, which I'm not sure what this is. I pulled it out because I don't know what it is. Um, it's very, very sheer, you can see. Um, it's not silk, it feels like maybe it's silk, maybe it's cotton, but you can see how sheer it is, but that makes it perfect for a lining. The trouble is it acts like chiffon. And by that, I mean, it is very unwieldy. You can see on the pattern that it's like a half circle skirt. And so this kind of stuff, you have a lot of bias going on. And although I cut this, I starched the pattern pieces after I cut them, probably should have starched this before I cut it, but, but uh, because of the bias thing, I've got a whole lot more lining on the skirt going on right now as I let it kind of hang than I do skirt linen. Uh, the linen part of the skirt. And so, you know what? Uh, yeah, it's just getting to be a problem. Part of the linen is starting to bag over where it connects to the skirt. So I think I have a way to fix this, but it's going to require some seam ripping. That's really the only sewing I've done this week. I did get a new pattern. I really did. It's a PDF. I can't believe it. It's uh, a pair of pants called the Trendy Pants from aura patterns. I found them on Etsy. I was looking for something else. And so I cut that out of some, just, it's a sheet that I have. And so these aren't really going to be pants. They're just uh, a muslin and they probably won't even be a wearable muslin. I'm not counting on that, but you know, I'm going to give them a try. They're cute pants and the pattern was like three bucks. So I just thought, gosh, don't want to pass that up. I think there were 27 pages, so it wasn't too bad. I, I was not terribly unhappy with it, but I have to say that PDF patterns and I, you know, I ship them off to be printed and unless I want them right now. And I did want that right now. So yeah, I don't like them. I uh, Give me big four any day. I have so many things to show you from my trip to up to see Trish. And she and I did make a trip to the sewing studio. Nothing was on sale, but we just kind of went shopping, you know, because sometimes it's nice to buy real beautiful fabric when also you're thrifting for yardage of linens, you know? So I got some stuff and I folded it all into these little packets that I talked about um, on another video. This one's kind of full of fat quarters, so I'll take that apart. Uh, but I got some fat quarters of batiks because I want to start quilting. And I know what kind of quilt I want. I want a coin quilt. And so I think I got a lot of stuff here that's going to work well for that. So let me just show you. I don't know what the designers on these are because they really don't have anything written on the selvage, but I got this one. These are all 100% cotton. I got this one. And they are either quarter yard pieces or fat quarters. This one. And oh, I love this one. This one. And I love this one too. And this one. And this one. 
I just thought they all kind of blended, you know, together somewhat. Um, you know, they're not matchy-matchy, obviously, but they just kind of blend a little bit. So, yeah, I, a lot of just batik. I love the look of batik. So, I got that. I found this cotton lawn, and it is gorgeous. This is coca.co.jp. This is made in Japan, but it's lawn. Oh, it feels so nice. It is um, kind of like a Tana lawn. I don't know that it's as nice as a Liberty Tana lawn, but oh my goodness, this stuff is just beautiful. Very light, very drapey. I mean, if it's not folded, it's just beautiful, beautiful lawn. So I don't know what that's going to be, but it was Trish was looking at it and I thought, I want some of that too. And this I saw and apparently they did have this in turquoise. So they previously had had it in turquoise, but I saw this blue and I love it. It is a rayon poplin and I, I just, the colors, the blue, it's just beautiful. Kind of looks like raindrops maybe. I don't know. Nothing is round. Everything is like a little rectangle, but oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Rayon, just give me all the rayon. And then I got a couple of pieces. I'm not gonna unwrap these. A couple of pieces of organza. These are kind of an iridescent or organza for my daughter's wedding gown, which is also behind me, but underneath the linen dress. We're working on a, a something. And then um, we were talking with Jan about um, batiks. And she said, I thought we had a rayon batik, didn't we? And another woman who works there came up and she goes, you know, I think we have one. So, you know, Trish and I said, it's fine. We've got everything we need. And so we went up to the register and here comes Jan with this bolt. And she goes, this is rayon batik. Would you like some? And of course, you know, what were we going to say? <laughs> no, probably should have, but I said, Jan, I kind of love you and I kind of hate you at the same time right now. <laughs> so I got three yards and I think Trish got about the same and it is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous color and you can see the batik. Oh, I just, I'm in love. I'm in love. I don't have a clue what I'm going to make with this, but I have been destashing my patterns. So I've been going through my patterns and I'm sure this will make a gorgeous dress of some sort or another. So that is my, my haul from the sewing studio. I've been forgetting about this lately, but today's question for all the Friday sewers, which you can find on Friday Sew Central, link is in the description box, is how are you at Bob and Chicken? Bob and Chicken, do you even know what that is? I think I didn't know until recently. Bob and Chicken is when you see if you can get to the end of a seam without running out of bobbin thread, when your machine tells you you're low on bobbin thread, or if you don't have a machine that does that, you notice you're running out of bobbin thread. So how are you at that? I've been winning lately, although yesterday I failed. Mm -hmm. I was sewing my my Easter dress and I had gotten pretty far into attaching the skirt to the bodice and my machine reminded me and I thought, oh, I can get there, I can get there. No, I failed. Machine one, gen zero. How successful are you with that? Actually, I would say overall, the score usually is in favor of the bobbin. So anyway, I just thought that would be a fun question to talk about. One other thing I want to also mention is that I appreciate knowing where so many of you live. Thank you for letting me know. I'm hoping to turn Friday Sews into a live show rather than just like this, where I'm just a talking head talking to you and make it much more interactive. So 
thank you for letting me know. That helps me know what time to do it so that I'm not doing it at a time when nobody's available. So anyway, thanks for that. Moving on to a little bit of Jesus. If this isn't for you, then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week. And if it is for you, I have a little prayer card that I want to share with you. This is from Psalm 40, verse 2. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Sometimes I feel like my life is just mud, dirt, slime, slop all around me. And I am doing all I can to get out of it. And I think this can manifest itself in ways like drama, with emotion, with family, with friends, with work, with church, you know, name your thing. It has the potential to be a complete wreck, a complete mess. And I love hearing that he has set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand because he'll stand me up and he'll go, okay, let's handle this. And he goes before me and makes a way. And I just am so grateful. I just, you know, having a relationship with God will give you that assurance. It, it will make you certain that this will not conquer you. It will not. It is a temporary situation. You'll learn and you'll go on and he will go before you and it's going to be okay. Lastly, I want to... I want to give something away. I, you know, in all the de-stashing I've been doing with my books, which are over there, that's why I'm waving. I found this and I have two copies of this. Nancy Zeman, I will put a link down to a documentary about her life in the description box. And I would strongly recommend that you just take some time and watch it. Watch it at two speed if you don't want to take very much time. But it's all about her life and things I didn't know about her. And she is my mentor and teacher. I never met her, but she taught me so much about sewing. And so this is the best of Sewing with Nancy. I would watch her on PBS every day while my kids were napping. And it was the part that I looked the most forward to. I can't remember if it was on once a week or once a day. It might have been once a day by the time I started watching it. But it was on my local PBS channel in Indiana. And oh my goodness, I learned so much. So I want to give this away since I had an extra and um, unfortunately it's going to be if you live in the U.S., which would include Alaska and Hawaii. If you are one of those people and you would love this, then just leave me a comment saying I loved sewing with Nancy and I watched her whenever. And that's it. Let me know. I'll do a random draw and I'll get this out to you. And that is pretty much it for Friday Sews. So have a great weekend. Get some sewing done. I'll see you next time. And thank you so much for watching.